Right. So, basically, I start with a 12 foot leader. Why do I want anything else? Uh, it's an airflow. Uh, it's, usually, it's about 25 pound uh, the, the thick end, and it tapers all the way down to 7 pound, 2x. So, that's my starting point. I don't construct leaders. But from there onwards, things get fun because I like fishing long leaders, especially 18 foot, 20 foot. And if you tie another 6, 10 foot, 8 foot onto this, you're going to have problems casting it. So something came up, and I was reading in a magazine, it wasn't my idea, and the construction was quite simple. You had your leader, then you went down to your 6 pound, with your 4x, and then you went up. We're not allowed to do that in competition. Are you not? Then you went up to 12 pound. Then you went back down to 4. So what happens is you've got a tapered leader. Then she goes up. And then she goes down again. Now, with that extra bit, with a long leader and with three flies on, you can turn over a 20 foot leader. No problem whatsoever. And what's nice as well with that is that you put floated on a thick piece of mono. But doing that construction, so I've got my 12 foot leader, then I've got my 3 foot of 6, you know, 6 pound, then I've got 3 foot of 12 pound, then I've got my tippet, which is 3, 4 foot of 4 pound. And that extra weight gives you a fantastic turnover, especially on long, long leaders. Right. A few other tips I've been picking up and doing. Um, when you tie two lines together, it doesn't matter which way you want to do it. Blood knot is the only one that doesn't give you a hassle. But some people use... Uh, oh, I need two pieces of it. <laughs> some people use uh, the blood knot, uh, the, the two-ton, three-ton water knot. How do you tie join two tippets together? How do no, people do it? Depends on the thickness. Okay, how do you do it? <laughs> <laughs> but what? Surgeon for thin stuff on a yeah. Stuff. You, you, you tie it and then you cut the ends. But this is the end is to my rod and this is the, to the fly. This piece here. Do yourself a favour every time. Half inch. And what happens is. Instead of going straight up, it's now coming out at 90 degrees. Yeah. So when you're coming through the, the weed or anything like that, you're not picking up weed. Yeah. So the one that's pointing up towards your rod, just stick a half hitch in it. You don't need to pull it in tight, tight. It's not a practical knot. All you want to do is take that from pointing straight up to 90 degrees. So that's another little tip I've picked up, just through years and of watching people and picking other things up. <coughs> right. This one I think I got from Herman, or Gary, I'm not too sure. Now, droppers, I hate droppers, trying to tie droppers onto bits and pieces and all sorts of things. The easiest dropper I've got, and one of the best ones, I've seen is you take your dropper material, you make a loop. Doesn't matter whether you use a, uh, any loop or you any loop knot you want. It's just make a loop. Right? There's a piece going to the rod. There's my half hitch. You see? And you've actually got a dropper that doesn't tangle with anything and actually spins around. Yeah. And it can be any length you want. And it's short and short and short and cut it off, throw it away and tie another one on. Yeah. And there's your dropper every time. 
Instead of tying fancy Grinnaker knots and God knows what else, to me... You're not allowed to use it. Yeah, this is uh, there's a lot of competition. Yeah. Like You're not know allowed that either. Yeah. Well, one's allowed loops, and one all loop. except one loop from your fly line to your leader, That's and, no, and uh, you aren't allowed anything slightly. Everything has to be fixed knots. Yeah. yeah. Thank God life's not a competition. <laughs> 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 As I said, this is excellent because it's not fixed, yeah. you know, yeah. and beautiful. you can have one, two, three, as many as you want, but every time you have, you have a stop knot. Mm. Yeah. Well, what's nice as well when we used to use that is that you can hear that slider knot, but every time you, you want to fish a bit further up the water column, yeah. you just made a knot, knot in the leader and you stop that like, a, like another stop knot. Yeah, you can move this actually up if you want yes, to and yes. change the depth. And uh, put in a, a, a nail knot in here, yeah. you know, and it would like a stop knot, and it stops there. So you can actually change the, the, the distance between your toppers. It's just another way of looking at things. Because yeah. I hate trying to, because I end up putting the wrong one, cutting the wrong one, and you end up not enough material. And once you cut it short, what do you do? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So the the cigarette in the air goes <coughs> through the other side. Yeah. So, <laughs> this is great. And, you, you know, I mean, you just cut it off when you want. Even if it's still on, you just put the next one on and you slide it down. Okay. So, you can... Because, me, I like my, my droppers to be that long. For time I know it, and move it down and then cut it. <laughs> okay. Charlie, on your droppers, are you using sort of, um, sort of 6x, 7x tippet then? <coughs> You can use whatever you want, you want. Same, same, same. because yeah. you've got your main line, and this is just a dropper. Yeah. You can use whatever you want. Okay. You're not restricted with that thing, this, that thing, this, whatever you want. This could be anything you want. Just don't make it thicker than this one. No. <laughs> <laughs> no I'm just thinking, this, this, you know, the smaller it is, the less spooky. No. Well, you see. Well, the other thing is that the guys normally make the droppers even a bit thicker yeah. in the main line because it's stiffer. Or they no, make, or they make like mono fluoro, fluoro yeah. droppers. Yeah. It's stiffer, so it won't wrap Well, what's, uh, it was just the other thing is, what's the nice thing about that is it always sticks out at 90 degrees mm. because the way that it goes on and the loop goes on, it always sticks out at 90 degrees. Mm. Yeah. It's not sticking up the way, sticking yeah. down the way, yeah. and put, trying to do this, trying to do that. It's always sticking out at 90 degrees. Now, I was hoping more people would be here, so I think a lot of other people probably wouldn't know these things, but most of you guys, these are professionals. <laughs> yes, <yeah. laughs> right. Um, maybe, uh, I want to share something. Uh, okay, now, just finish your thing. It's a simple thing. Um, I've been experimenting now the last year, and I've I fished quite extensively on still water only. With a dropper system, and um, and in bar that is his dropper system. <coughs> um, you take 24 foot mana, uh, being fluorocarbon or whatever, and fish your droppers six foot apart, and your 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 line is straight on, straight on 10 pound, straight through. The droppers is six pound. Yeah. And you tie it with a simple water knot in the story. As long as your point fly is slightly heavier than the rest of your flies, that thing turns over like and beautiful. Yeah, but that's the easy. catch, you know, I mean you actually it have to put a, yeah, a heavy point fly. Yeah, yeah. It's the top point you need to throw weight then you're right. Yeah. yeah. And, and um, But as I said, if you do that construction I was talking about yeah, by yeah, the, the yeah. it's a parabolic, yeah. you know, I mean you, it starts thick the goes thin. Problem with turnover. Yeah. What those guys do, the yeah. English side and the Scottish side and the Welsh side, they put gink on the front portion of yeah. the of the of the of the leader with the tippet. Because that adds that bit of weight. And it's a minute piece of weight, but if you if the once you cast it, you feel the turnover, the difference, you can see it. You can actually see it. So um, decreasing your line, it's I think it's vitally important. You think so too? Yeah. <laughs> Decrease your, your point fly. That, that thing just goes. Right. Sorry, um, sorry, sorry, Not a problem. 
Right, the other thing I've been doing for donkey's years, and Mary Key stole it for me, <laughs> and it works very well, is when you tie your leader to your fly line. Unless you're a professional and you're fishing series, normally you'd put a nail knot straight on. You would cut that loop off and cut, put a nail knot on. But most anglers like myself and everybody else, they don't do that. They can't afford to. So what they do is we use loops. And if you put, uh, you tie a loop on there, tie a loop knot, then put it through to your leader, you have a problem, especially with 20 foot. Because what happens is, I lost the piece. With a 20 foot leader, your rod is only 9 foot. So what do you get? How do you get your line back in? You can't. Force it. Force it. <laughs> what I did is, many years ago, I made loops, nylon loops, out of mono braid, 30 pound mono braid. And attached it to my leader. And that's what I'm going to show you tonight. This is the time bit tonight. And basically, there's no knot there. And it goes in and out of my top ring, all the way into my reel, all the way back out, with no problem whatsoever. I don't have a knot to contend with when my fish runs. I don't get this jamming in any of the eyes whatsoever. And suddenly I've lost a fish because I've got two pound tippet on, and this is caught in the eye. So, basically, I've got my 12 foot leader, and I've attached a nylon loop onto it. And it's never, ever come off in all the years I've been fishing. I've never had one to come apart. Have you had one? Yeah. I want to see that again. Yeah. Show I'll show you how to make them tonight. No. Okay. But basically, there's no knot there. Mm. So, especially using, as I said, the 20 foot leaders, 18, 20 foot leaders, this goes straight into my reel. Fish runs, comes back straight out. Goes in and out like anything else. Then you can use your loop in another spot. <laughs> <laughs> right. Mary, hello Mary, how are you? Why are you hiding in the corner? Hello Mary. <laughs> Come and join us. Oh, come to come and dear people to come to my travel. Of course. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> okay. 20th. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Oh, yeah. You're not going? <laughs> what? <laughs> right. I start off with my. Yeah, you'll get your bit at the end. Start off with a 12-foot leader. This is an old one. I'm not going to use a new one. A piece of wire I asked you to bring was just to make a bent piece of wire. Okay? I take some 30-pound braid. You can cut it any length you want. Put on some glasses. <laughs> that helps a lot. Yes. <laughs> Put it through the hole in the middle. You want about an inch there. No problem whatsoever. Stick it through. Put the other one in between. Pull it through. So you got loop with a double sheath. Okay. And you can adjust any size you want. Center core. I just cut that off. Right. And what I do, the center core one, I put it back through again. My needle. All the way through the double. You see I'm going all the way up. Right. 
and pushing it through the end of my lip. Right? And the only reason I'm doing that is so I can squeeze all this lot up and open it up. So what happens is it's like a Cosentina. I'm just squeezing everything up and everything goes fattened up. Okay. Gently slide it off. <laughs> Put it through the centre core. Make sure it's the butt end. Yeah, make sure it's the butt end. That's my leader. No, no, has to go all the way through. How long did you make it, Charlie? What? That, as I said, the loop, you can make any size you want. What do you normally make? Oh, about an inch, inch and a half. And pull it through. There's my loop. There's a leader coming through. Okay. So, there's my core, two cores. There's my loop. There's the end. Lighter. Burn it. Burn your fingers. What are you burning? I'm uh, making a bubble at the end. Of? Oh. In my leader. Now I tried it before without a bubble, and you can actually pull them apart. And I just slide the bubble in. Right. So the bubble was right there. Then I got my cores and I got my leader. This is where the fly tying comes in. <coughs> We've done plenty of these. <laughs> yeah. What thread have you got there, Charlie? Six o. Rod building thread. <laughs> yeah. Six o is not rod building. It's eight o actually. I got eight o. Yeah. You can use any colour. The spinning action tightens things up. Okay. I've got a this loose thread. The, the yeah. I've got a loose thread. I want to get rid of that. Cut that off. So what you've did is actually made a whip finish there. Whip finish. <laughs> right. Okay. Now. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you yourself under the chin. <laughs> Not your best scissors. If you use your best scissors, cutting nylon, your scissors are destroyed. Okay. So. Use your wife. You can. In fact, you can actually use uh, nippers. You can actually use nippers as well. You know. So you free the end up all the way up to where your thread's finished. Stripping all that away. Just open that up. As I said, not your best scissors. I've actually got scissors specifically for this job. And you want to get rid of... And you won't cut your thread. You think you will. Here's me saying that. Right. Now, all I'm going to do is move the thread onto the, the leader so I get a nice taper. So all that frayed stuff is actually going to be covered up. Work it back the way. Yeah. Uh, it takes, it's a while since I've done it because almost my leaders are all done. And just work it all the way back. So it looks nice and neat. It does not look neat. <laughs> right. The stronger thread or the floss. Is to create a wet finish. So I'll make a loop, pointing towards the loop, take my thread, 
towards the loop. Couple of turns. Give yourself enough thread there. Put it through the red one. I always use different colours so I know which one's which. So what I'm doing is creating a whip finish. But a tight one. <coughs> Loose thread. Super glue. All I want is just a touch and use the back of your nail just to spread it nice and even and you get a nice glossy finish. Doesn't matter if it stays there. Doesn't matter if it stays there. It makes you look sexy. Yeah, yeah. 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 It peels <laughs> off. In about a day or two, it clacks off. You know? That will never ever come off. And that onto your line just slips in and out with your rod tip. You like that one? Yeah, it's still a bit wet, but it, it's dead simple, you know. And then it, it will, it will not come off. I can guarantee. You, I've been using it for years and years. America's been using them because I taught her how to do them a long time ago. And what's nice, as I said, especially when you're using long, long leaders. You, you I use them in the short leaders now. All my leaders have got that. But uh, on the long ones, uh, you have problem trying to get your fish. You know what I mean? You've got a lovely fish on and you don't want to get a hold of that leader. You get a hold of that leader, that fish is going to jump and struggle and everything else. But with that, it just pulls straight out just like a fly line. So that's all the tips I've got for you. And uh, what I've got, I've got some material here. I've got some wires here. If you want to try it, you don't need that. Uh, and I've got some super glue. You've now just, you yeah. just stuck the table clump with the table, but let's not worry about that. Okay. <laughs> so if you want to try it, and I've got some, I've got 20 pound pa 25 pound mono here. Just cut yourself a line, just to try it. If you didn't bring a leader. <laughs> the fly line's got one. It's loop to loop. You see, if you look at that, if you look at that, but no, if you don't, you just put a loop on there. Exactly the same thing. Exactly the same thing. Oh, you got it. Oh, yeah. And it's a loop to loop. Can you see? Yeah. That's that's an already impregnated loop, and there's nothing there. It goes in and out. No, you don't pull them off. Sorry. 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 Sorry.